Hello everybody and welcome. Yesterday, Rainbow Six Siege released the patch notes for Year 3, Season 3.1, but today this has been updated with 3.2. They're saying they were in the process of deploying backend changes that were created on the premise of having the bug fixes listed in this patch already in place, and deploying these changes out of order would lead to instability. In an effort to push these backend changes to live as quickly as possible, they will be deploying the bug fixes alongside the backend changes live with the 3.1.2 patch. Now this also means that they will be removing the balancing changes from this patch as they are still undergoing testing. Now this year three season 3.1.2 patch will be deployed this week for PC. Console deployment of these bug fixes will come later on in the month with balancing changes and will be a part of the 3.2 patch. Now there does seem to be quite a lot on here that's been fixed. So let's rattle through these quickly. First of all, we're going to look at the general bug fixes. Deployable shields placed perpendicular to a window prevent vaulting has now been fixed. It's now impossible to install deployable shields in front of windows in a way that would block vault or rappelling in. Trying to do so will result in deploying the shield forward or backward depending on the player position in a way that will always leave enough room for vaulting or rappelling in. Operators that are invisible when players load into the game has been fixed. Pistols that have their reticle misaligned with the center of the screen while shooting has been fixed. No toggle for Montane and Pulse special abilities. This now comes with a toggle. Not being able to access the bulletproof camera by pressing secondary gadget button while in prone has been fixed. While prone, using melee and standing up will switch the knife animation to shield. Fixed. The stun grenade VFX can be cancelled under certain conditions. Fixed. The squad leader remains alone in a match after one squad member leaves when the leader starts the match. Some latency, micro shutters and graphical issues after playing multiple matches and maps in the same custom game session have been fixed. And finally on this one, end of round time does not stop when initiating the diffuser plant at the last moment has been fixed. Next up, we're taking a look at the map changes. First up is Bank and Valkyrie's black eye camera could see through through the ceiling when placed on a special spot on the second floor of bank has been fixed. Also a spot on the first floor teller's office allows Valkyrie Black Eye to see through the corridor and staircase has been fixed. And lastly, the spot in the first floor archives allows throwable grenades to reach the second floor skylight stairwell has been fixed. In Clubhouse, we will see that attacker drones can see through the ceiling underneath the first floor lobby and bar will be fixed. On Consulate, we will now see that drones will have collision with the terrace edge from the west front yard. Hereford Base is seeing the most changes, and the first up being that ranked match action phase lasts for four minutes on Hereford Base is now fixed. Equipping a shield drops the FPS by 10 to 20 on Hereford Base has been fixed. Unstable FPS in general has been fixed. Maestro's gadget is vulnerable by breaking cosmetic destruction. Small pinstripe carpets across the map. Players can hide under a desk in the first floor prep area. The diffuser cannot be picked up after being dropped between the wall and the ammo box in the first floor garage. The diffuser cannot be picked up after being dropped down between wooden planks located in the exit barnyard. And Thatcher's EMP grenade does not turn off the faux volumetric glow from the ceiling lights in exit barn. And a small gap in the second floor bar from ceiling on Hereford base rework. House will see a fix. Players can clip inside a wall using a deployable shield at the second floor workshop. In cafe, if armor plates were put down in the third floor cigar lounge on a kettle, you couldn't pick them up, has now been fixed. And in Oregon, operators can get stuck inside a pile of boxes in the first floor office. And also players can vault inside the washing machine in Oregon, have hopefully now been fixed. And lastly, now we'll take a quick look at the operators. First up, we have Clash. So when you could instantly go into ADS with your secondary after unequipping the shield and also not being able to use observation tool while the CCE shield is extended have both been fixed. And for Echo, instead of disappearing when Echo's hover drone is disabled, the jump button appears to be greyed out has been fixed. And also if a disabled drone is picked up and redeployed, it will still be in the disabled state when redeployed has now been fixed also. Thinker will see the Spear 308 damage fall off over distance lowered. Now for Maverick, and I know this has been a really popular topic lately, Maverick's blowtorch makes no sound on the first use on a wall has been fixed, so hopefully that should be a little bit more easier to hear him. And the blowtorch effects persist after Maverick is killed while using it has also been fixed. And finally for the operators, we're taking a look at Mirror. 
Hopefully, after this patch, you will no longer be able to destroy the mirror from the other side of a reinforced wall, and you will no longer be able to place a mirror under another destroyed mirror. Now, there are some more changes coming with this patch, including minor bug fixes and charms, but what I'll do, if you want to read on further, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go and read the rest of those. Now these are some pretty crucial changes coming to Rainbow Six Siege, so it'd be really interesting to hear what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. And remember, if you're not subscribed, please do so. I try to bring you all the latest news and information regarding Rainbow Six Siege and other FPS games. Thanks a lot for watching as always everybody, I really do appreciate your time. And until next time, goodbye.